Hi everyone, I make Excel and PowerPoint templates to help people get ahead in their career and get the most out of your startup or your business. This one in particular is the Pareto Principle or the Pareto Chart, and it's such a wonderful tool for knowing where to begin to focus on the highest value items or the biggest problem areas in your business. It's based around the Pareto Principle, which is around the concept where 80% of your opportunities or your problems will come from around 20% of your inputs. For example, 20% of people might control 80% of the wealth in the world, for example, or 80% of your crops might come from 20% of, of the land uh, around the area. So it, it really is a wonderful thing. But in your business, it's 80% of your opportunities might come from 20% of the, the problems or the, the areas or even the people who are working on it. So this is just a great way to showcase that. And what we've got here is a line that we can change automatically. We can have our 80% line. Uh, we've got our cumulative line. So we've got all of our data here and then the cumulative line so we can see where it crosses over. And around here, so these first four items are the biggest uh, opportunities for us in this particular Pareto example. There's a whole bunch of really great stuff in this sheet. Let's get into it. Now, of course, the first thing we're going to do is just create the general colors and framing of our sheet. Our heading will merge and center, turn the text white, and we can say this is our Pareto principle. Let's merge and center these two cells. We'll turn this white so that people know that they can fill it out and give it a nice little border as well. And this is going to be our Pareto line. Now let's do the same for our, for our process or our chart name. Put it over to the right in the middle, increase the indent and give it a nice white label there. Merge these cells together and do the same here. Let's start with 70% for our Pareto line, but this is something that we can choose to change any time and we'll put this just in the center and make it a little, make it stand out ever so slightly. Now we can get into our table and the data for our Pareto chart. And to do that, we're going to select these cells for our heading row. Let's give that a nice turquoise or a nice light blue. And we can make the, the text white there as well so that that does stand out. Our first one will be our options. Our next one will be our data. Uh, then we want our percentage. Then we want our cumulative and then we want the actual Pareto line itself. We'll format that and put them in the middle, turn those bold so that they stand out. Now we can select this area and we can actually go and format as a table. We can select a new table style, any table style will do. When we click it, we do want to say my table has headers and that way it'll give us something to sort these by, which is really, really wonderful and important. Now we can format this in any way we please. Let's give this a nice thick border and the same with here. And in between, let's give ourselves more borders and go to a nice dashed line. And that can be in the middle here so that we know exactly what we're working with. Now, of course, you can format this in any way you please, but we can have a nice vertical line here as well just to separate them. And the same for our section over on the right. Let's color our percentage just a little bit different uh, and that should give us something to work with. Now we're going to input just a little bit of dummy data for our options and our data columns and that will give us what we need to create our Pareto chart. And when you do this, you can actually, when you update your chart yourself, you can copy any data as long as it has the options that you're looking at. So the labels or the options or labels and the data itself. And now that we have that, what we want to do is create the percentages. So in order to do that, we're going to need a total at the very end. So let's go down to our end and we'll say equals sum, open up our bracket, and we want the sum of all of our items. We can just control Z to get rid of the automatic formatting. And then we'll click a little bit of total down the bottom here, put that over to the right. And now we can see what our total is. We also want to do the same for the next column over. So we'll just bring that over a little bit and turn that into a percentage and put that in the middle. Now to create our, our percentages, we want to say equals uh, this number divided by the total number. And as you can see, it's given us a bit of an error because the table has automatically done the rest for our column, which is the beauty of working with tables. But what we want to do is just put a little dollar sign 
um, with our 25. And now that means that this particular cell won't move, it won't go down as it's adjusting down for everything else. So now we have all of our beautiful uh, percentages. And if we click the percentage button so that it looks like a percentage, put that in the middle, now we've got uh, the percentages that we need to work with. But we still need the cumulative line. So what we want to do first is actually make sure that we're sorted by largest to smallest. So that's on our data tab, and now we're on our largest to smallest. That's really important. Now that we've done that, we can say this one equals our first cell in our cumulative line. Let's turn that into a percentage as well and put that in the center like we have with everything else. But for our cumulative percentage, we want to say equals the previous um, total plus the next one uh, that's coming up. So if we add those two together, and then if we drag that all the way down, now we have uh, our 100%. Uh, this is a cumulative all the way up to 100%. For our last one, if we copy that and just select the formulas only, that will leave our formatting intact. Now for our line, so this line is going to be really important as well, we're going to use a little bit of a trick with Excel. So we're going to say, if this cell is blank, then we actually want to be uh, this, uh, we want the line to be blank as well. But if it's not blank, then we're going to return our Pareto line. And we're going to have that line for all, we'll copy that, and we will paste the formulas only, put that in the center, and turn that into a percentage again, like everything else. Uh, and now if there's a blank cell, for example, if we get rid of this cell, then the line won't appear as well. So it, it'll all match up very, very nicely. Now we can finally create our Pareto chart. The first thing we're going to do is select our data labels and our data, and we'll say insert, and we're going to select just a normal bar chart. Now that we've got a bar chart, we want to change the title. So if we click in the title, and if we go to our formula bar, and if we go to equals, our process or chart name cell, now that's going to change it for us whenever we update the process or chart name. So if we say great project here, then that will change for our, for our chart as well. And we'll put that in the center and make sure that looks nice. And now we're starting to look really, really good. Of course, with our chart, we can modify this if we want to. We can go to format data series, and we can actually have the, the series overlap a little bit more. So maybe we want to overlap maybe 50%, uh, and maybe we want the gap width to be only 100%, and now we've got some nice, uh, nice wider bars that look really, really nice. We can also modify this particular section here, the labels. We could have the text direction, maybe we want that as a custom angle, maybe we want that at, say, yeah, here's a nice angle, roundabout maybe minus 55%. Now that's uh, just on a little bit of an angle, but it still stands out. And of course you can change that to anything you please just by formatting that axis. Now let's put in the Pareto line. If we select all of our Pareto lines just up to the data that we have, and we'll say insert a normal, it'll be a line chart. Here we go, a nice line chart here. Now what we want to do is select that line chart Control C to copy, then let's select our normal chart and Control V to paste it. Now this throws everything off just a little bit, but what we want what we want to do is select our chart and format chart area. Now we can uh, go to our actual data itself and these bars here, we can say put that on a secondary axis. Now we can get rid of our the one that we've copied it from. Also just a note, you can actually select all of the data itself and insert a normal chart and then change those details, change those chart types in the same way that we changed the chart types. So you can do it all in one go if you don't want to control, copy and paste the items individually. Now we can format that data series, put that on the secondary axis as well, put this one, right click, format that and put that on the secondary axis too. Now we've got the data that we need but we still just want to format it in a nice way. So let's add back in our, our chart title. So this is what we want. There we go, now that's working. And we'll change our, uh, our data labels and format that axis as well. 
Now for our main, uh, main data, let's select the chart series type. And we actually want that to be a bar chart. There we go, now that's looking good. And now if we click OK, now we can just format the rest of the items to look how we want them to look. If we format that data series, go to the lines and the markers, here's our line. Let's give it, it's a solid line. Maybe we'll give it uh, some other details here. So we'll give it a dashed type for our line. And maybe a deep blue or any other, maybe a light gray, for example. That can be our Pareto line. For our cumulative percentage, let's change the color to a nice, maybe a nice light yellow or a golden yellow. Now that's really good. And for our main bar chart, if we, maybe we can make that a deep blue or anything that we prefer. Now if we right click, add the data labels for that. And we can even add other items for our cumulative percentage by formatting that particular series, going to marker, marker options, um, and maybe we can say built-in marker options, a nice rounded item there. Um, and the fill for that should be the same color, so nice and yellow. And now that we've done all of that, as you can see, we've got a beautiful Pareto chart that shows the, the highest frequency to the lowest frequency just by sorting it on our chart. We've got the beautiful cumulative percentage and where they cross over. So these top three items, they're our biggest, biggest winners. And this is our 70% item here. Oh, we can change the access axis just so it doesn't go above 100%. Yeah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? And now you and I have created together this beautiful Pareto chart that you can use to find the biggest opportunities in your business. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you in creating this sheet. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.